Hey, it's uh, Darren here from Eastern Woodland Art. I just wanted to uh, tell you ab about the the game that I've uh, that I'm trying to get produced or printed, called the Truth and Truth and Reconciliation board game. Hang on, I'll flip you back over. So this is a game that I came up with in uh, uh, probably well May 2017 when I was uh, teaching back in Ontario, and uh, uh, it's a it's a trivia based game. And uh, uh, the idea is that um, uh, the you you have indigenous players plus the the church, the church and the crown players. Here we have the uh, the Mohawks, uh, the Métis, for example. This is a the 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 first version was Ontario centric. And so all of the questions and uh, in, in the trivia cards up here, treaty, bingo, sorry, a, and congrats, uh, they were all based on Ontario's specific history with uh, in, in terms of indigenous history. So um, in any event, uh, um, this was the original version of the game, uh, which which uh, literally is is a cut and paste. So I took all the all the some of the facts, for example, and I just glued them onto these uh, recipe cards. And this was the first incarnation of the um, the Truth and Truth and Reconciliation game. So I, I took this to um, a meeting, uh, a conference, uh, the First Nations, Métis, and Inuit uh, Education Association of Ontario, the <laughs> FNMIEAO, uh, in London in 2017. And uh, a representative from Nelson, Canada, saw this game and... Uh, they contacted me later, and uh, we began collaborating. And uh, I, um, yeah, the, they they wanted some changes, and uh, uh, after some consultation and uh, some inclusion of my artwork, elements of my own artwork, this is what it, this is what was produced. So, uh, in the original game, you only had the four sets of cards. Uh, in this uh, in this game, same concept, same idea. Turtle Island. Turtle Island there. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, th there's one more set of cards called status cards. In the original game, we had uh, shame uh, and status cards as well. Uh, we also have those cards in this game. So there's shame and three types of different status cards. So you can be 100% Indian, 100% pure, or 100% cer uh, certified. Uh, let's see back over here. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. The uh, the currency in the game is is land, language, culture, and identity. And at the beginning of the game, it's only the indigenous players who have land, language, culture, or identity, and they each start with uh, with uh, twenty pieces of currency. So here are the, uh, for example, in the in the new game, here is the uh, here are the uh, indigenous players. Uh, of course, we have the. We have the the church, and we have the crown. And in the beginning of the game, uh, it's the indigenous players who have all the currency. Uh, the, so they have they have the land, they have language, they have culture, and they have identity. And and uh, um, as they uh, the, the the goal of the indigenous player is to collect uh, four eagle feathers. So one two three four eagle feathers when they collect four eagle feathers if they have any land language culture or identity left they're survivors if they run out of land language culture identity and identity before they collect four eagle feathers they uh, are extinct and they're out of the game so uh, the goal of the church and the crown is basically essentially just to strip the indigenous players of all their land, language, culture, and identity to the point of extinction. So, um, the, uh, the, the the collaborative part with uh, Nelson ended because we disagreed. Uh, uh, a, a big portion of their um, of the their audience or their uh, market in Ontario uh, were concerned. Uh, about the church getting shame cards or earning shame cards, and so they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't use the game. So um, uh, and I and I uh, did not want to re remove the shame cards. The shame cards are there for a reason. Shame shame is a thing. Uh, anyway, uh, so now I'm at a point where I have this uh, this uh, amazing educational 
device or tool or, or game. It's a board game. It's, it's a trivia-based board game. The, uh, the, the way the indigenous players lose their language, culture, land, and identity is, is through policies and laws and, and uh, uh, things that were done uh, historically. And, and that's what these cards contain. These trivia cards ca contain the truth and uh, the, the consequence of, of that policy or law or change. So this is, uh, this is where things are at. I, I want to do a, a, a fundraiser, a GoFundMe fundraiser, um, to, to publish the game on my own. And then uh, I want to give it away. I'll, I'll give it away. If, um, uh, the, the goal is to raise $1.5 million, and uh, it, it'll print 20,000 copies of this game, plus the, <laughs> the genuine Indian guidebook. Uh, to the uh, truth and truth and reconciliation. <laughs> uh, um, and uh, all of these would be given away uh, to anybody who wants them. Uh, 20,000 copies. That's the, that's the goal. 20,000 copies. Give away 20,000 copies of this game or deliver them by September 30th, 2023. That's the goal. Uh, then we don't have to worry about school boards opposing uh, or not liking uh, elements of the game. Yeah, right? Then there's no excuse because they're free. Anyway, uh, help me out, uh, spread the word. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll post uh, more information about the GoFundMe uh, uh, in in my in my bio, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, thank you and have a good day.